Hey guys, welcome to Does It Dance, the show where I test out products via busting a move. Just like that. As women, we're out here on our own, trying to fend for ourselves, fighting nature tooth and nail. Okay, maybe not fighting nature, but you know, fighting nature. And when I mean nature, I mean mother nature. Isn't that the worst kind of nature? Not that any other nature is bad. I love the environment. Anyway, no, but really guys, one of the hardest things to figure out as a woman is the dreaded period. You know, you think you only have two options when it comes to dealing with mother nature herself, and that's tampons and pads. That's all I've ever known. It's always been kind of like, you figure out how to use tampons, and if not, well, you're stuck wearing a diaper. And either way, they kind of suck. I mean, pads, you're just literally walking around like, oh God, can I be any more uncomfortable? Ah, uh, yes, add a pad. And then tampons, it's like, okay, you know, it's great, you almost feel like it's not even there. 12 hours go by, oh my god, I'm gonna have toxic shock syndrome. At least that's what happens to me. So recently I found out there is a third option. Woo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ooh. So basically, I'm at the pool one day with a gal pal who is also a fellow dancer. And I'm sitting here stressing out because later on I have to wear a white costume. I'm like, ah. Oh, I'm on my period. When am I gonna find times in between my dance sets to change? On top of all this, I'm wearing a leotard wrapped in all these like LED lights. <laughs> So it's not like it's an easy, let me just take off my pants and whoop and whoop and bam. So I'm sitting there like, oh God, what's a girl to do? And she just looks at me and she's like, well, I stopped using tampons like two years ago. So myself and about three other girls around me just, what? And she goes, girls, I have a diva cup. What is a diva cup? A diva cup is just a brand of menstrual cups. So a menstrual cup is a silicone cup that basically sits inside of your vagina, collects the blood throughout the day. At the end, you just pop it out, dump it out, clean it out, and you're ready to go. And I know what you're thinking because I was thinking it too. Gross. Yeah. Disgusting. Oh, never. Is she serious? Oh. So since this method of taking care of business, is it really talked about? I figured, why not use myself as a test subject? Better me than you, right? I don't think that's how it goes. So I ordered the Lunette cup. I heard it's a softer silicone than some of its other menstrual cup competitors. I don't really know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm hoping it's gonna be change for the good. I plan on taking you guys with me every step of the way and I hope we find something great together. Ooh, look what came in the mail today. So, dun 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 dun, the lunette cup. I'm honestly kind of scared it's gonna hurt. That's what she said. Let's look at it. Here it is. Can you see that? I got the model one because it is for a light to normal flow. And I also read that it was good for people who have not had children yet. But I still think it kind of looks big to put in your vagina. But maybe I'm just being a baby. It is really soft. Pliable. I guess we won't really know until I try. I like, don't even know why I'm so nervous to do this right now, but here are the instructions. It says you have to fold it, and then make it a C, and then put this inside of you. All right, I'm not doing this on camera, so sorry. All right guys, it's in. That's what she said, maturity. It wasn't too hard to get in. It's kind of awkward just because tampons are a super easy shape and this one you're kind of just using your fingers and going at it. I guess I can test some movement and see how I feel or see if I can feel it, but so far, so good. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't tell you 
how I'm feeling about this menstrual cup, and I don't know what will. It's been an hour. I haven't felt anything. I don't feel any discomfort. Dance my face off. I'm feeling great. But it's still the first day, still the first hour. I'll keep you updated. Well, guys, I just took it out and no problems. It was kind of hard to get a grip on it at first because obviously it's a little slippery. It's kind of weird because you hear and feel a suctioning sensation. It's literally like and that's just I'm like whoa what just happened down there all right so overall I'd say day one with the lunette cup is a success why don't you say so Bert nope yeah right he's just passed out day two we'll do a full report and get back at you guys Good morning, people. It's uh, day two. I'm running a bunch of errands. Lunette cup is in place, and I have no complaints, honestly. I don't even know what to talk about anymore because it's just been great. I feel like from now on, I'm just gonna vlog and update if there is a problem. Just got back from work, took out my Lunette cup. I literally had it in 10 a.m. to midnight, no problems. If you're a busy working gal, the cup is gonna be your best friend. I don't know if you guys can see this, little baby cat sleeping in the background. So cute. Anyway, here are the seven reasons why you should switch to using a menstrual cup. Reason number one, it saves you money. Think about it. This is a one-time $40 investment that lasts you for up to 10 years to take care of it properly. Tampons can usually cost around $10 a box. If you do the math, you're buying a box of tampons a month for a year. You're spending $120 a year. Reason number two, no leak worries. Day or night, you know you are not gonna surpass the cup. Number three, they'll never have to worry about being in a public place and being like, oh no, I don't have a tampon on me. And then you have to go up and ask random strange girls. <laughs> Hi, uh, could I borrow a tampon by any chance? Reason number four, it holds more liquid. A tampon only holds six to nine grams of liquid. The cup, up to 28 grams. Number five, no chemicals in your happy place. Tampons almost always contain bleach. You don't want to be putting bleach inside of you. The cup has no latex, is BPA free, and no dyes. Reason number six, it won't dry you out. And I know you're thinking, Brittany, you're crazy. How am I dry? on my period. That don't make no sense, but it does. Haven't you ever pulled out a tampon and wasn't wanting to come out? The cotton in the tampons is literally sticking to the sides of your vagina and ripping its natural lining out. That leaves you more susceptible to infections and diseases. Not to mention, when cotton sticks inside of you, that's the perfect breeding ground for toxic shock syndrome. And last but not least, reason number seven, the environment. Think about it. Where are all these tampons going? Into massive landfills where they're just sitting there, terrible. Fine. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment any questions you may still have below or share with me your cup stories. I'd love to hear them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see new videos every week.